Okay guys, new tutorial. Um, this one's on uh, alterable values and global values. I've been getting a lot of questions and apparently a lot of people don't know how to use these because the questions could easily be solved if they knew how to use global and alterable values. So, um, I've already put in some objects here. Uh, let me show you what those are. We've got um, the player, which is a basic platform movement, nothing special. Um, we got enemies with basic path movements, just side to side. Let me show you. Let's see, and then jumping plat. We got the platforms, and then if he collides with this, actually we don't have that condition yet. Um, so this is going to be a teleporter, which jumps him to this frame, which says if he won or he won or lost, and then. Here, let me wait these real quick. Uh, I already did this video, but I found out the sound wasn't on. It's the second time I've done that, so I'm doing it again. Um, and the conditions here, nothing special. When he leaves the play area, he stops. When he collides with the background, he stops. Goes in between that and that. Uh, jump to frame number two. Palm pressing space bar, launch that object so he can shoot. And closing between that and the enemy. Uh, destroy this. We don't have anything for the enemy yet because I'm going to show you that. Um, alterable values and global values can be used for many different things, but I'm going to show you two ways to use them. One way is for alterable values and one way is for our global values. So let me show you alterable values first. Alterable values are if you want to change the value of a specific object and you can use, and what I'm going to show you how to do is how to give an enemy health without having to add a uh, counter for every single enemy that's in there so you can just copy the enemy and he already has the health uh, plugged into him um basically it feels if you go to the a through z here in the properties toolbar you'll see that i've added an alterable value called enemy health and right now it's at zero um and these are copies of this enemy so they all have the same thing and if, now we want to go to conditions and we want to make a new condition Collision when the bullet collides with the enemy, you make it so the alterable value add to the alterable value of this enemy guy of add to enemy health and you want to add one. And now you want to make a new condition and go cl right click on this guy. Um, alterable values compared to one of the alterable values. Uh, enemy health is equal to let's say five will work and now and you want to make it when enemy health is equal to five destroy the enemy so if we press f7 and press space five times oh he dies and his buddies are still there and you gotta kill each one of them okay so that's alterable values pretty simple um, global values are for if you want to make a value that stays that you can access no matter what frame you're in that's what global means it, it's throughout the entire application so um, want to uh, do we want to make it so that we'll have a global value where if it's equal to zero then this little thing the pair it goes to paragraph two which is loot you lose but if it's but the, if the global value is equal to one paragraph one goes to you win so what we want to do is make it if the guy collides with this and he hasn't defeated all these or if one of these guys kills him it it, it has a, it's the global value stays at zero and he loses but if he destroys all these and gets to this it makes it one it makes it equal to one so go to conditions new condition and you want to make it where uh, right click on the active and you want to make it picker count and have all active tube been destroyed and then you want to go under global values or under special conditions you're not going to uh, uh, you want to change a global value and set and I already have I made a global value I'll show you how to do that in a second uh, win or lose and set it to one and make a global value to you you could just uh, leave it as global value a global value b but um if you name it, it just helps keep the game organized and just if you go under application one on your workspace toolbar 
go to the A through Z here in the properties toolbar, and then you just add global values or global strings. Global strings are just like global values, only you set it to text, and you can make it if the global string is equal to a text, um, something happens. Or you can make it so a string, set the text of a string to a global string, uh, to the text in the global string. So, um, <clears throat> now it's uh, win or lose is set to uh, 1. And we also want to make it, we already have where it jumps to frame number two. Uh, we also want to make it, and we also have it where, um, we also need to make it where collision between the player, other object, and the enemy. You can, you can make it, he dies some other way. I'm just going to make it simple and make it where if they collide, he dies. And we don't, we don't need to destroy him because we're just jumping to a different frame, so he's not going to see the player isn't going to see whether he's destroyed or not. So it doesn't really matter. So just uh, go under the frame thing and make a jump to frame number two. Um, so now, if you press F seven, collides with that. Um, I I don't know why it's not working. Oh, okay. Uh, I forgot. I have to press F8. No, not F7. That's why it wasn't working. That was a stupid mistake. Um, remember to always press F8 when you're when you want to test out multiple frames, not F7, because F7 it only tests one frame. That was a stupid mistake of mine. So if he collides with him, oh, but we haven't made the condition to make it to go to you lose. That's why it's saying you win, because that's the initial thing. So if you go to here, go to conditions. New condition, this is simple. Go to the special, compare to global value, win or lose is equal to zero, okay. String, under the string, um, you want to go to set paragraph to you lose. And then you want to make it edit, win or lose is equal to one. You want to display paragraph number one. Okay. Now if you press F8, and we collide with him. Oh no, you lose. Or if he goes here without killing them, because he's lazy, it's also you lose. But if he kills them all, like the good guy, and he goes through, you win. Hooray. Okay. Uh, that's global values and alter values. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, there's more than ways to use that than I showed you. There's tons of different ways you can use global and multiple values. I use them all the time, at least like 20, I use at least 10 different uh, global and multiple values in all my games. Um, so uh, be sure to keep in mind that you have these as a resource. Okay, good luck.